Let's get it. When you're out here moving, make sure that you're doing you, that you're doing you. You're only born to do one thing. Hello, hello. It's the Certified Chaos Podcast. Well, EJ Daffro, aka Man Hustle, and Mr. Friends. How many of us have them? Friends. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Sir Louis, and welcome back to the Certified Chaos Podcast. What's happening? Man? Yeah, we back. <laughs> Thought they was going to stop us. They ain't stopping us. Not <laughs> 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 yeah. right, today. Everything good with you, man? Yeah, man, I've been well. How about yourself? I can't complain. Just, you know, trying to... This, uh, you know, I ain't really been... Uh, the problem is kind of... It's bad, but because I've been detoxing... I haven't really been affected by it, so I cleanse up drugs. Nah, yeah, <laughs> that, that, that will be college. Yeah, so y'all remember last year? You know, y'all, when I looked at it, yeah, you know, I actually seen an aerial shot <laughs> with it in the air. Even my told you, yeah. I was like, hey, bro, I know you having problems. You know, it's so much out here to the fact that I haven't. I haven't been affected by it like in Louisiana. When I come out here, it's like it's just mutants. yeah, it's a it's lot. Like, yeah, it make you feel like limes. Mm-hmm. Dirt is all in your head. Yeah, oh. man. I seen it. I, I know it's bad when the wind start blowing. Yeah, you can see. You're like, oh no. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah but I've been I've been pretty good so far. I just been kind of cleansing out my system, and eating clean. So I've been it's not been too bad. I might make a mistake and be like. Ah, but other than that, I've been I've been cool. Oh yeah, man, you got to go to the darkness, no, mm-hmm. go to the light. Yeah, yeah, that's man. how it works. Yeah. A lot of people think I'm just gonna eat clean every day. Nah, you know what I'm saying. You mm-hmm. gotta you gotta do something. You know what I'm saying. A little bit of cheating. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. A little bit of bad shit. That's it. You know, as they would say, in order to get yourself right. So how yeah. long you been? How long you been on? A detox? Yeah. <laughs> Probably up got a good, be 13 days. So last time we had a session was the last time I ate something like yeah at that capacity yeah almost yeah but about thirteen days now yeah yeah so I probably eat something today but it's just nothing nothing too serious I'm not yeah. vegan or nothing it's just I been eat clean I mean that that I mean that that's big you mm-hmm. know working on self I mean a yeah. lot of people you know have been talking about health 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 in the last year or whatever but you know McDonald's line still long Checkers line still long yeah. You know, all of these places that lie still right. long. So, obviously, you know, the the root of the problem is still you know, the health. eating. You know what I'm saying? And that, yeah. <laughs> that hasn't been subsided from overeating. Mm-hmm. Bad shit. You know, you know what I'm saying? I, I, up, smoothies man. and salads pretty much every day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I take a lot of discipline, man. Mm-hmm. Shout out to that just to eat. You know, just to even have those days to even work up to a cheat day. And you mm-hmm. said, like you said today, you can afford to do it because, shit, you've been so disciplined. Mm-hmm. It's been during the week. Yeah, because I know uh, at nighttime, if I'm hungry, I just go get some peanuts. Yeah. And get some, like, drink some water, go to sleep. I, I know just, why you get the peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> ain't going to sleep. <laughs> Well, you know, you know, I ain't no, I ain't. Yeah, well, speaking of hell, old school told me, son, get you some peanuts, <laughs> almonds, you know what I'm saying, anything like that, you know, it worked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah, I, you know, I haven't been really just, you know, detoxing. I've just been refraining from a good bit of mm-hmm. stuff, but, you know, it's a lot of stuff I'm finna extract. I don't eat, I don't eat like. You ain't crazy anyway. Half. Yeah, I only eat like maybe one or twice, once or twice a day, excuse me. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I don't want much people like, you know, they look at me, why are you not? Why are you not eating? Because I don't want to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Man? I told one, I said, eating is overrated. Not the, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we put too much pleasure into it to where it's like, oh, I got to have this. And I realized, like, a lot of times, have you ever ate something and then you realize, like, I didn't even want to, I didn't really need this? No. Oh, yeah. Immediately. It's just the, the fact that, okay, you know, I just really wanted it, you know, and it was, it was more than what I had earlier. And now you're stacking. Carbs on top of carbs, trash on top of trash. Like, nah. So I had to realize, like, you know, you're really being a glutton. Yeah, I just think just because that convenience is what gets people. If they had more healthy spots that would, like, drive through, I think more people eat them. It's just the fact that, all right, can I go prepare this meal or can I go get this $7 meal real quick? I mean, we all fall, you you know, we all fall victim of that convenience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. How society changed, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was, you know, where uh, it was cooking at home. You know what I'm saying? Home cooked meals, and you, the diner was, it was a treat. You know what I'm saying? They go to mm-hmm. the diner on Fridays yeah. or Saturday nights. You know what I'm saying? And even in the '70s, I mean, and it looks like what well, maybe the '90s, maybe. You know what I'm saying? I mean, fast food had been going, but you know, the '90s maybe is when you know things started really just. 
fast food household. People didn't care nothing about cooking. That was a, you know, that was a slave trait. Now, like, <laughs> whoa, that's when that became a. Like, I'm not, I'm not slaving in the kitchen. All right, okay, but you know, I just, I think parents do have to get on it though, because I'm noticing more and more that kids aren't, they're bigger now. At a younger age, it was a yeah. couple of fat kids. Now it's like yeah, every other kid, you looking like, man, you got a double chin already. Like you too young for that, man. Like, oh that is my not... god, that's horrible. Yeah, yeah, man. But nah, I, I, I will hope not. But yeah, you, you do, you do, and you know, you know what I attribute that to is you know the food. You know what I'm saying? The snacks and stuff that they have now, because you know, you know, you come up, you don't really. I mean, no, don't get me wrong. Some some parents do restrict their children from taking in, mm-hmm. you know, those type of things. And then, I mean, that's that's okay. I met a guy, uh, he was like 13, and, you know, he was going to a vegan spot. And uh, he was like, I've been vegan all my life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all That's all he pretty much know. You know what I'm saying? But he was fit, of course. Yeah. You know, coming in, in this era to, uh, you know, as EJ said, I mean, we having this – kid obesity, you know what I'm saying, problem on the rise. And, I mean, it, we, we can say that, you know, it's cute and, and all this. Mm-mm. Honestly, it's not natural. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not natural. You if you're doing saying? it now, just imagine yeah. by the time you're 35, 40. Right. Like, I feel like having high blood pressure, that's old people problems. It's people my age, our age. Yeah. I got high blood pressure. I got high Ooh. cholesterol. I got, I'm diabetic. It's like, bruh, it's what you eating. Yeah. Because prime, prime example, Somebody say, oh, kids don't go outside. I said, no, they do. Parents don't let them go outside anymore because they're so busy now. Right. They want to give them a tablet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> once, once they started that, I mean, if if those, you know what I'm saying, objects weren't even in the equation mm-hmm. and they weren't provided, then the kids will go find something to do because the natural the natural thing as a kid, you want to go outside. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You see little kids when they be walking, they be like two or three, and you, they be walking, look, they be outside on the sidewalk, mm-hmm. they just be getting it like, mm-hmm. and I wonder, I, I seen this like yesterday and I'm like, What's she going? Like, what's her aim? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, she has some in her mind. Like, what's her aim? Is she going just walking to the tree or doing this? Like, what's her aim? Like, they want to be outside. I mean, that's mm-hmm. natural. Because I used to get mad when it rained. Yeah. Oh, yeah. especially during, you know, it's recess. You know, oh, it's raining. Damn, we ain't going outside today. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. Hey, yeah, well, you don't go outside, man. I mean, mm-hmm. that that's important, man. You know, I'm looking for uh, now, like, one of those little nature preserves mm-hmm. like, where you can go out here. And I'm just finna start going out and just chilling, Hikes. man. Mm-hmm. Just just connecting. Because, you know, I haven't, been, I haven't been outside as much as I should. You know what I'm saying? I haven't been outside as much mm-hmm. as I should. But that's part of health as well. You know, I'm starting to like, that's part of health. Actually getting outside, breathing in fresh air, catching the sun, not mm-hmm. being cooped up. Taking them hikes every now and then. Yeah. The trail. Don't see no bobcats. Yeah, you got to take a trail. <laughs> I, I usually go with a, a rod and my gun, of course. Yeah, but, right. Yeah, I, I go with a cup of water, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I try to try to get out there as much as you can, just because you got to appreciate it. Sometimes I just look at it. I just sometimes I go star watching, just watch the stars, the sky. Sometimes and just appreciate it. You know what I mean? That's people like, my mm, people are like, what you doing? I'm just looking at the sky. Stargazing. <laughs> That's it, you know man. You know, my mm-hmm. cousins. Mm-hmm. That's it. Just ride, just ride through it. Sometimes I just take them drives and don't say nothing. Just look. I believe you know. You know that that's a great point because I believe that you know we have this thing now to where you know I don't want to say I'm going to say all of a sudden, but I don't want to mean that in a negative manner. Mm-hmm. To where mental health is a big thing, you know, black yeah. mental health, so to speak. And I believe that a lot of people need to just start doing a lot of things by themselves. I mean, me, you know, not not coming off as a critic, you know, I told myself, hey, you need to start doing things by yourself as well. You know, get comfortable. You see that? I know you all seen the memes where they say you go out and eat by yourself. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I mean, that's one of the basis of self love to be able to sit somewhere by yourself and not be ashamed. It's kind of like why the um why nerd why the quote unquote unpopular kid grows on to do great things because he learned himself or right. herself early. Right. So, right. as opposed to everybody else who was always in the conglomerate, they was clicked up. So when they separate, it's like, damn, what do I do? Right. What's up? Now you hear the big bro. Yeah, my 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 twin. Like, <laughs> shit's weird. I, you know, yeah. <laughs> but you know that, that that goes to show that you know that you know sometimes a lot of individuals around you can be a distraction. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like when when you by yourself in your solitude, you know whatever. First, it's gonna start off as you may be missing something because everybody wants to be social. 
you know, sociable. Mm -hmm. You know, so you you begin to fill whatever you call that void with yeah. something. And if it's positive, you know, like you said, we get these these people that used to roll around, you know, these book sacks and people just call it nerd. These are the tech guys. Now, these are the people that are sitting in the houses and you looking at them like they crazy mm -hmm. and everything you know, it's successful, you know, subjectively went in that way. Mm -hmm. You know, so they ain't got to compare to anything like, I got a house. You know Think what I'm about saying? It. The irony is you call that person a nerd or a geek, but you are spending your hard-earned money to wait in line on the waiting list to get that product that that yeah, person to get built. to get a product that a, a whole that a whole other geek yeah, man. or this nerd has created. So they rule know? the world. I always tell people that. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep it real. Like I mean, especially now, especially, I, I think, you know, and I was – Thinking about this, you know, two days ago, man, and you know, and it just came out of nowhere. And I believe that if if we as black people, if we 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 got with a lot of these, you know, black tech guys and stop ostracizing them and actually get with them, it'll be a lot more. It'll be a lot more business, you mm -hmm. know, going on with us in that era. You know, in that area, excuse me. That way we won't be, you know, pushed out of it. Like, you know, because we always say, oh, he do tech, he do tech, or he a nerd. You know, anything technical, you know, you, you tend to be a nerd. But, again, these are the people that are creating apps, you know. Because that's what Nip, that's what Nip Tesla was doing. Yeah. His whole, he had his whole platform and an app building, and it's just... We got to we gotta stop getting out of this. You have to act this way to be a black man, you know. And I think that's, that's a big problem. Right. And so I've seen people... Suppress themselves, but then when they get around me, they talk about the nerd talk, and then they get around other people, right. and like, man, I don't do that weird shit. And it's like, <laughs> all right, you lame. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a facade. You know, that's that that comes from you know, best. You know, it may not look like it, but that's a form of people pleasing. Mm -hmm. You know that that shows. You know, and I too can resonate with just this part of it. It's just the fact that that shows that you know you're you're not comfortable in self, mm -hmm. and you're not willing to make others uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I mean, people shouldn't. You know, even if they get uncomfortable, they should be mature enough to yeah, accept. That's you what you do, and your difference, yeah. right? And that's who you are, and that's what you do. But I mean, you know, unfortunately, you know, you know, we're living in that type of society. People <laughs> scared where, to be themselves, right? That's people are scared to be themselves. You know, I seen uh, uh man, you know, I, I I did not like to listen to him talk, but I mean, you know, obviously now, you know, he he's a you know a very great speaker on the subject he speaks on, cousin Jeff. Okay, and he was saying, you know, it, it's funny because it seems like originality has become this sickness. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That everybody wants to avoid. And mm -hmm. the way he said it, I'm like a sickness. You know what I'm saying? Which, but I, I kind of got what he was saying to where you know everybody's avoiding. Nobody wants to be original. You know, I honestly think if you if you were to take rappers and celebrities away from the eyes of people, a lot of people be lost. They wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> be like, what I, what I do, what I, what I do, what I say, you what, know, I what I buy, to. what I talk to, <laughs> how to, yeah, yeah, man, just because I'm just looking at the way where we're going out with the EV cars, yeah, I mean, it's coming, yeah, they everywhere, it's coming, man, they everywhere, you know, I seen a dude, man, it was funny, he, uh, he dropped out of Stanford, mm -hmm. you know, because a guy, you know, had money, gave him a hundred thousand because he believed in the idea, he started developing the sensors for Tesla. And not for Tesla, because Elon Musk, you know mm -hmm. how he is. He's one of those, you know, egotistical maniacs. But he said the company was going to fail. But he created from other cars. Mm -hmm. Man, a billionaire already. Already. So they're going to show, like you said, like, when you say electric cars to people, I'm pretty sure you had that conversation with people. And it, it, falls, it, it falls on the deaf ear, you know, until you realize, like, wait a minute. These people cutting down all these models for a reason. You know, they not just, you know, all these charging stations, you know, popping up. You know, Mustang, that's mm -hmm. an electric vehicle, yeah. right? The Mark, the Mark, um, the Mark, the Mark 1 four-door. How you feel about it? What you like? I, I seen it the other day. How do I feel about the car? Yeah, I seen it the other day. You seen it? I, 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 I like it. I feel, why not just put in the Mustang? The the your bread and butter. Why right. not just why not just yeah. put in that? Yeah, yeah. So, if you are gonna do it, do it. Right. Like you want you want to be. This is what we stand on. Yeah. Put it in. I and that, I'm pretty much. I mean, just looking at it, that's what it is. I mean, it, you know, it has the whole futuristic hatchback type look, but still, you know, I should have just put it in the Mustang. I believe it would have sold a lot more. You know, you, you, obviously, you can make it unless they. The only thing I can see them saying was that you know maybe. Traditional Mustang owners, even though they're evolving, they want that raw. You know what I'm saying? Because it's gonna go fast, electric. Mm -hmm. But maybe they they figure, you know, that's the only way I can mm -hmm. see them. You know, good point. Just saying, hey, we're not gonna do that. But just I would just put it in the 
Instead of buying, that? instead of wasting money on the bill on the body, just put it in that yeah, habit column. You, right, you you right. You you tying up a whole nother line. Yeah, just say why not call the Mustang Mark E, and we know same thing with Chargers. Why not make the Charger, you know, had a Hellcat body, but just give it the EV, you know, the E motor, EV motor. That yeah. way you get the power. It's just.